no service just because it's snowing outside i can't get a phone call through i, I fear the brilliant and valiant daddy drake has been reduced to it's yelling at a message okay look it's been a long night okay yeah you know what i'm sorry about the inconvenience too i'm uh, assuming that you did use them robin cell's not picking up what's wrong <sighs> Emma's running a high fever. Robin doesn't know we're closed out. Now she's driving through the blizzard to get here. The one place that they shouldn't be. <sighs> Mommy can do this. I can get you to the hospital safe and sound. Sneaking out, don't do it. The hospital's been shut down by the federal government. I'm sure they've been told to shoot at us. Yeah, that's if they saw me, which they wouldn't. I know a million ways out of this hospital. I'm willing to take my chances. You? Yep. It's Jasper Jacks. He'll take my call. Hello? You're cutting out. Listen, this is an urgent matter. Get the senator on the phone immediately. Damn it. Who authorized that call, detective? Are you an FBI agent? Show me your badge number. The commissioner I've ordered no calls from I'm the I'm not a police officer. I'm Jasper Jacks. My wife's inside the building. Well, look, I'm sorry, Mr. Jax, but we can't allow civilians to interfere in, uh, in emergencies. What the hell is going on? Now, why do you have people locked inside a contaminated building? You obviously know what's going on, or you wouldn't be trying to contact a United States senator. I want details. Five spheres of biotoxin were brought into the hospital. During an emergency surgery, one of the spheres was punctured. Two people were killed. Three of the spheres are contained. One has gone missing. And until we find it, nobody will go in or out of that hospital, including your wife. Even if we manage to get out of here, what if we release that gas in the air? People could die. I was in the boardroom when Kate and Claudia and Trevor went down. It was bad. And they're now down in ICU with Monica and Elizabeth. A nurse and an anesthesiologist are dead. How long do you think that we're going to have to stay in here? I don't know. As long as it takes. 
I get it, Lulu. You know, I understand. Morgan and Jax are out there, and I want to be with them as much as you want to be with John. I just don't understand why he's not banging on these windows trying to get in, why he's not trying to get a hold of me. I'm worried about him. I'm worried that he's caught in the blizzard or he's wrecked his car or that he's too mad to even care. You know that's not true. I don't want that awful fight to be the last thing that we say to each other. You don't want to do this. Mm, uh, neither do you. I don't know what I want. Liar. Okay, fine. I know exactly what I want. Then, um, what's the problem? The sooner Lou finds out exactly who she's dealing with, the better. And I need to go ahead and break Spinelli's heart before I ruin his life. You're not gonna ruin his life. At least not the way I would with Lulu. That's right. I forgot. Whatever happens to Lulu is always ten million times worse than whatever happens to anybody else. I'm just saying, Maxie, Spinelli knows what he's getting himself into. He thinks he does. And why wouldn't he? He's my best friend. Spinelli depends on me and vice versa. He trusts me and forgives me for whatever I do, but I, I just need to break things off with him because he'll be better off. You're just trying to protect yourself. Exactly. That's the type of person I am, so Winifred would be a much better match for him. She turned him into the FBI. You think he deserves someone like that? I think that Spinelli needs to learn the way the world works. And if you and I were to hook up, he would be devastated, but he would eventually figure things out. And he would never trust anyone again, so he would be better off. Oh, my situation with Lou is different. I'm not trying to protect myself, I'm trying to protect her. From something that you did. Yeah, in a way. If I were you, I wouldn't tell me either. Actually, it doesn't matter who I tell Lou, I'm actually gonna find out. Well, why don't you tell Lulu? Because maybe you guys still have a chance. Look, Maxie, whatever happens between me and Lulu, I don't want you to give up what you have with Spinelli just so I can have another meaningless, self-destructive experience. Oh, Johnny, that's really noble of you. Maybe your beer wore off. Maybe you actually do love Lulu. Emma, that little ding just means that I guess Daddy bought us a lemon. Mr. Stark car racing expert, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine. I don't know these new streets very well, but I know I saw a gas station around here the other day. We just have to get to it. They could tow us to the hospital, and you're gonna be fine, sweetie, I promise. Turn? Robin left a message with me before the system completely shut down. If I would have been checking, okay. like I should have high as Emma's fever. Robin didn't say. I am sure that she's giving the baby a sedimentifin and pushing fluids. All she has to do is drive across town, and when she arrives, everything will be fine. Yeah, but you know what? Robin hasn't driven the vehicle very much. It's a new neighborhood, and she sounded scared. And even if she does get here, they're going to turn her away at the door. You're exhausted from running things around here, Dr. Drake. Eh, you need to stop and think. When Robin arrives, she'll just take the baby to one of the ambulances that are standing by outside. Hey, Max, Max Scorpio's out there. He's going to make sure she's okay. Yeah, that's if she makes it here. What if she gets lost or slides into a ditch or something? What is she thinking bringing Emma out of this? Does the jackal detect a note of concern vis-a-vis -vis the new mother Robin's judgment? No, I'm just... She probably doesn't know how bad the roads are. Okay. Unfortunately... You cannot help Robin right now, okay? So we need you to focus on running things so we can focus on finding that missing biotoxin because if we don't, a lot more people are gonna die. 